I'm Gary Miller. I work for the USDA's Systematic Entomology Laboratory at Beltsville, Maryland. I'm a research entomologist working on the aphidomorpha, which includes aphids in the strict sense, adelgids, and phylloxerids. If you have your specimen of ceratophus, we're going to take one without wings, an aptera. All right, so we have our specimen in, in the field right now. And let me get back here. We're, again, we're going to try the lucid again. So um, this particular specimen is an adult. And I think it's, it has a, uh, it's a nice example of an immature beside it. And you can see the presence and absence of that genital plate. OK, that's the subgenital plate here. And if you look at the, none. there's none, none showing there. There is an anal plate, but not a. OK. So again, I know I'm kind of hung up on this, but I mean, to me, it's, a, it's an obvious one. So in this case, uh, the wings are, are absent. All right, well, we pruned it pretty good. Now we're going to that process terminalis again. And you can see the antennal structure on, on this particular specimen is a lot different than the previous one we looked at. Routinely, aphids have usually six antennal segments, but you can see that there's reduction in the adult in this one. OK, so we're going to measure the process terminalis to the base. Compared to the other specimens we looked at, there's a big difference here. Again, the range 0 to 18, so put 0.5 in here. All right, so as you can see, that really pruned the tree very quickly. And we're down to three taxa here, three, three species. And again, this is a case where if you want to go ahead and look just to see what the differences are between these. Um, for some reason, the alata uh, came up as one of them. And we know that that's not, it's certainly not an alate. But um, talking about the differences between the hind femur CD length, and you can see the ranges listed there. OK, so let's try the hind femur cetal length. Moving to the femur. So there's the femur, and you can see the various CD present there. So you want to pick out one of them and measure the length. In this case, you had to measure in micron, so you did have to do the micron measurements. And then that pruned it down to one species, the final species there. Ceratophus brasiliensis. Let me move back up here. My colleague here, Susan, was saying about the, this is a, a good opportunity to say what this, this species does, that this gets on palms. It's called the palm aphid. So again, I clicked on that, um, that link, and it takes me to the, the fact sheet and a little bit about its host and general distribution distribution. So it's a particularly important on coconut and oil palms. And, and it's implicated in transmission, of, has not been implicated in transmission of any diseases. And here you can see what the specimens look like again. So this is a good opportunity to check yourself. Again, the, the uh, uh, Siphunculi are greatly reduced in, in this particular species.